Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today, I know when you're watching this, when I just recorded it, it's the summertime here. But today, we're going to talk about the birth of Jesus and how he was born to be our example. One snowy December evening, I busied myself by working on my annual Christmas greeting that I sent out to people who were subscribed to my ministry's mailing list. I spent hours fine-tuning a graphic of the Madonna and child. I was so immersed in the finer details of modifying that that I actually lost sight of the overall picture. I took a break from my work and when I returned my eyes were immediately drawn to the chubby angelic Christ child resting in his mother's arms. The song came to my mind, Silent Night, Holy Night, Round Yon Virgin, Mother and Child. I looked at the baby. He came to us as a helpless babe. Jesus didn't come to us as a warrior, educated, trained, and ready to take his place as Israel's king. No. He entered the world as a helpless, squalling infant, completely dependent on his mother Mary for food and for provision from his earthly father, Joseph. More than likely, his mother and father took turns changing his diapers, and together they bathed and clothed him. Like all parents, Mary and Joseph waited for their son's first babbling words and cheered him on as he took his first steps. His mother watched as her little man helped his adoptive father with the chores around the carpentry shop. As best they could, Mary and Joseph provided their son with all the tools necessary to grow into a successful young Jewish man. As I gazed upon that picture of the babe, a question popped into my mind. Could Christ's early years be used as an example as to how we are to live our lives as children of God? Perhaps I'm taking this analogy too far. However, could we learn what it means to be dependent on God, our Father, by meditating upon Christ's dependency on his earthly parents? For example, as an infant, Jesus needed his parents to bathe him and to dress him in clean clothes. We need the blood of the Lamb to cleanse us from unrighteousness just as much as we need the robes of righteousness to clothe us. Jesus picked up the speech patterns and inflections of his earthly father by living and working alongside him. As a result, his accent was easily recognized as Nazarene when he traveled across Israel. Do others recognize the accent of our Father's kingdom when we speak? Does it please God when we say we want to be just like our Heavenly Dad one day? I have a feeling that answer is yes and amen. There is a fine line between considering yourself spiritually mature and growing in your faith. After all, Paul chastises some of the people that he was discipling because they just were not ready for the deeper things and they preferred the lighthearted, easy to digest doctrines. Or as Paul said, they preferred milk over meat. However, as we mature in the Lord, there is a bit of an irony there because the more we mature in the Lord, the more we realize how dependent on him we are for our daily spiritual sustenance. Don't take it as a sign of spiritual maturity if you need to depend upon God for that spiritual nourishment and you rely on him to cleanse you from all the dust and the grime 
of the day through the blood of the Lamb. Those things were provided for us, and God never wants us to outgrow that area of dependency.